We're going to get right into it. 100 days. See how much of this craziness we can get done. We're going to see. Now, I don't remember if it's more profitable to sell the parsnips right off the hop. But I'm going to treat this 100 days as I would any other, like, normal playthrough, you know? I've played through to, like, year 10. I have numerous farms with, like, 100 hours, 60 hours, 40 hours, etc., you know? On top of the multiple co-op farms that I have. And I figure, you know what? Why not get a little silly while we do it, you know? Get a little, uh, you know, feel in the fader, you know, you know? Something just to spice it up, you know? Spice up the Stardew Valley, since, you know, on console we don't got mods or anything, which is pretty lame, but hey, what can you do? Uh, also, speaking of, what have we here? I just want to make sure all's good, and then I think we're good to go, for the most part. Oh, yeah, golden. Absolutely golden. Oh, but I gotta turn that up, though. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm basically gonna treat it like any other, you know? I'm not gonna bother with those parsnips right off the hop. We might as well go foraging, see what we get. And I don't know if it's smarter to go community center route, because making a bunch of money in the first year is pretty tough, unless, you know, we have to hope and pray that the traveling merchant has some sort of, uh, you know, sprinklers or something, because if we're gonna mass produce, like, blueberries to make a ton of money, you know? Hmm. There's Linus. Is that a leak hiding right under this tree? Well, so it is, hey. Linus was trying to keep that one for later, I think. Getting started, meet people. You know, I always forget about Pierre. Oh, I wonder if you can get this on the first day. Right behind the community center is this, like, little statue here you can get? Oh! No way. It doesn't exist on the first day. That's crazy. Wow, interesting. I wonder if that changed or if it's always been that way because I remember before you could... It was like spring 8th, I think, that I went and did that, but I don't exactly remember. But the Jumino statue is right behind there. I wonder if he made it so you actually need this secret node now or, you know, I wonder what the difference there is. I'm also running out of inventory space on top of that, so that's uh, that's great. Well, at least we have like a fountain and stuff. Hey, fiber. Hello. What's going on in there? All good out there? Okay, just checking. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, getting as close as I can. Let's see if he catches us. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, we got away with it. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. And you know what? Might as well sell to Pierre. Hello, Marnie. Yeah, I just arrived. I know you're the lady that's never at her shop when you're supposed to be. Yeah, I'm looking to put my seeds in that purple-haired girl. Oh, that's your da. <sighs> Never mind. 150, though. I mean, like, they're really not worth it, though, you know? Like, honestly, I don't really want to have to rely on plants. Like, I... Th <sighs> it's hard to say. Like, do you think I should go with, like, potatoes? Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's so hard to say. Here's what I'm thinking, right? We have a bunch of money. Because those are constantly producing. Potatoes? We're going to roll with that. We're going to roll with that. We'll come back and we will buy the other seeds in about two weeks from now. The way we have time to... Oh, yeah. yeah, it is nice to meet you. I wish I kept some of my forgeables for you, baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go to the beach. Check that out. My main objective here... Oh, shit. I shouldn't have spent any money. Actually, I should have saved up because getting the backpack at the start, it's just such a pain in the took is. But I guess I can take this opportunity to meet everybody, although we could be meeting everybody at the Ag Festival at the start, per se. So, I mean, it's a kind of waste of time, you know. Uh, you know, to each their own, kind of hard to say. Oh, wow, our inventory is full already. That's great. I'd rather get rid of these mixies or the singular stone, I guess. We'll meet Elliot here, Smelliot, as I like to call him. Also, those ambient sounds. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's turn that, like, way downtown, let me tell us ya. You ever 
Ever see a seagull with only one leg? You gotta call it Steve. Me and... Oh, frig off, Ricky. Seagulls are also big fans of McDonald's fries. If you got them around, let me tell you. They'll come right up to you. Also funny to put them on your dash, you know? <laughs> and they can see them through the window, but they can't get them. Of course, you know, give it to them after you've had your fun, you know? But just a good time right there. Mmm. Okay. Come on, meow. Please be some fordables up here. I'm just... I'm almost debating. Like, I just want to see kind of what's around on the first day. Joe Cola. I think it's worth more than the daffodil is, actually. I think it's worth 50. If it's 5, oh well. Also, later on, speaking of, you can go to that little truck by Jojo there. And there's a guy that'll sell you a... Or, sorry, you give him a rabbit's foot and he'll increase your luck permanently, which is pretty cool. Nothing until the 7th, Mayor Lewis's birthday. All right, pretty cool. I'm going to go back to the farm, plant these, and then I might go up by Robins just to see if there's any sort of things. Like, I remember the first time I ever played Stardew. Oh, a leak. I'll come back for that in a sec. Uh, <clears throat> and like, I found a dinosaur egg, like right off the hop, I went near Robins, and I was like, oh, a dinosaur egg, what's that? And my girlfriend's friend at the time happened to be on the phone with her, and was like, oh, keep it, you know, don't sell it, and I was like, oh, thank god, you know? Had I sold that, oh, I would have regretted that one for a good while, let me tell you. But anyways, let's get rid of those. Speaking of, watch this be a chicken statue or clay, ready? Oh, Clay, okay, okay, Spongebob, okay. Ugh. You can get a couple on your farm. I don't remember what artifacts they're all is, but I think it's like the... Ugh. The chicken statue... Uh, then there's like the rusty spur and some other... Something that looks just like it too. As I sit here though... Oh, I might as well. Bop, bop, bop. Got some Metallica going here. Pretty prime, not gonna lie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, I forgot I had like nine beans. Oh my goodness. This is kind of a problem, actually. Because it's gonna take up like a lot of space, you know? Like, and... Oh, snakes. Like, it'll take up a lot of space, but it's also going to be a pain because it's so many to walk through, you know? Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, I just had to check something. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put them right in the middle. Three, four. And you know what? I'll give them one more here. Blah! Chuck those right in the front. Oh, oh, I got bad aim. Aiming for the tummy, got it on her chest. My bad. They hate it when you get it in the hair, too, by the way. If you know what I'm talking about, shampoo. Especially if it's the wrong kind. Like, you know, if they need, like, the, the purple-like shampoo, you know? Like, if they have blonde hair or whatever, or ginger hair, however that goes, you know? Good save. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, speaking of, Rusty Spur, I'm a cowboy. All right, well, shit. It's six o'clock, the museum closed. I guess we're not going there. <clears throat> see, right now, I uh, see this is a bit of a dilemma. I think I have enough energy. I need 50 to get myself a chest. What's in the way? Okay, there we go, all right. We'll get this wood here, and I think it's gonna be like two more trees we need in order to uh, build the chesty and get some of our inventory out here. Oh, I'm also drinking some beers right now. That's fantastic. Made some chicken fried rice, right? So it's like a chicken and rice, obviously. But I cut it up a yellow pepper, added some broccoli and celery and peas and carrots and some teriyaki sauce and shit. You know, some seasonings. It was pretty good. It was it was honestly pretty deadly enough. No, I like it was awesome. It was good. That was a good friggin' let me tell you. 
like when Auntie unintentionally invites herself, but like also intentionally into your bedroom, you know? It was like one of those times, like it was great, you know? Like if it happened, you weren't gonna say no, but did you plan on it? Also no. You know, those deadly aunties, they'll get you, you know? Once they're like, holy, you know? Give me a drink, son-in-law. Give me a drink, nephew, you know? Once you got a nephew, or, sorry. <laughs> Pause. Back up. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the saxophone. Once you get an auntie talking to you like that, then you know you're in luck. My god. That's like Zachary. They're always rejecting me, no matter how old they are. Pause. You ever you ever seen that Zachary guy on YouTube doing the funny pranks on the police and stuff? That's what I was quoting, by the way. Not not myself. Except the first unfortunate thing, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> poor choice for it. Alright, so we're gonna rock with one chest. Now, normally what I like to do is have, like, one chest for all your nonsense, right? One chest for your, like, community center and stuff. One chest for all your resources. You know, one or two chests for your fish. Because I like to have a copy of all the fish. I don't know why. It's just satisfying. And then you can have aquariums, right? Have a little aquarium shed. Why not? Oh, that, I don't even have a rooster. How is there a rooster on the farm? Cockadoodle doing. I don't have a rooster. Never thought about that before. There's there's no roosters. Not even a Marnie's. Uh, you can't even get roosters. I gotta put this on Twitter. I'm curious now. What in the world? Yo. Alright, so we can go and get the fishing rod, but we're not even gonna bother till it's a rainy day. Because then we can catch, like, the extra fish and stuff, you know? So here's what I'm thinking. We're just gonna focus on clearing the farm for the first couple days. Get it clear as can be. That way we have maximum room to build stuff. Because what I'm planning to do is make as much money before summer and try not to spend any. Except going to the traveling merchant on Fridays and Sundays to get sprinklers, ideally. And then, uh... That aside, just saving up for blueberries, and even if we have to water like crazy every single day, I think it's worth it, honestly. hi -ya. Come on, meow. I'm also planning to do this 100 days before... Oh, we got a geode. Wow. Ugh. 16 out of 20. Okay, so I only got a couple hits left. Dang. We need to get to the bottom of the mines or something, because wow, 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 wow. That's not much energy at all. And it's not until like the 14th, 16th where you get the, uh... <sighs> those salmon berries you can get that like restore a bunch of decent bit of energy, but there's like 100 of them on the map all the time. Alright, it's Tuesday. First week, you don't have to worry about nothing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and... Oh, okay. Level 1 forging. I'll take that. Yes, sir. <sighs> now the real challenge. Oh, rainy day. Alright, alright. Rainy day is fantastic. We don't have to water our crops. We're gonna get rid of everything except for our hoe. <laughs> As you would your girlfriend. You'd keep her around, right? We'll check for forgeables. Um, closed Wednesdays, though. PR is... I'm going to check for forgeables, loop back to the farm if I have the time. I think Willie's. What time does he open? Is it 8 or 9? 9. Okay, so we got the time. Just check for some forgeables. And then I'm going to head straight down to Willie and do some fishing today. I'm just keeping the hoe on us, which you should keep on you at all times anyways. That way you can get whatever artifacts pop up or whatever, you know? Because you never know, especially in this area near Robin. This is where the dino eggs are, man. If you miss an artifact spot there, that's a that's a huge deal. Let me tell you, that is something else right there. I'm not even gonna bother with that with that dandelion sunflower or whatever it is. Dandelion, go away! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yeah, no wonder we're stuck. Oh my goodness! There we go.
You know, I should have been checking the garbages in retrospect, but that's okay. Da da da. Thank you, Willy. Hell yeah, brother. I'll give you a chat and two, even though we've half sort of kind of not really met, I don't think. Can you offer me your fishing rod? You're just like, oh, I'm the hospitable guy on town. There's a new farmer. I might as well offer him a fishing rod. Drill talk, I wish I had back east, you know. I had the, the teaching at the time. Also, fun fact. If you decide not to fish at all and then get your fishing level to 10 via crab pots or, you know, using foods and stacking buffs and whatnot, you can actually get your fishing level to 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever, using, you know, the key spices and all that fun stuff. Oh, you're moving around a little bit there, brother. And uh, you can actually catch, like, the... Because uh, during your first catch, it's a guaranteed catch while it's, like, guiding you. So you can actually catch the hardest fish, which is... Uh, the legend fish. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I was like, I know what's the, the one you catch in that weird little spot by the mines. Oh, okay, okay. So we got treasure here, right? Oh, yar. We got the treasure. SpongeBob. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to catch this fish and get the merry treasure. Stone. Wow, that was fantastic. I think there's four or five fish we can catch right now, so we're going to do our best to catch as many as we can. And then as well, you know, we might as well eat them before we sell them just to keep the energy up so that we can go to the mines, go to the river as well. I think we can catch the catfish and uh, maybe it's tiger trout or something. But I know that there's a couple crazy hard fish to catch, including the eel, I think, in spring, which we're in right now, obviously, just starting out. I think you can catch the eel right off the start, but it's a pain in the butt to catch. What have we here? Oh, wow, another sardine. Who would have guessed? Here we go. Maximum cast, though. Maximum power. Like, maximum cast. Like, Casper, you know? Real talk for all you fishing guys out there. I liked fishing from the side, you know? Like, casting from the side, you know? Like, we'd go... Uh, we'd go fishing off, like, the wharf. Which is just basically another way of saying dock. And, uh... Oh, hey, there we go. A new fish, a herring. And when we would go fishing, uh, you know, I'd cast sideways. Like, I would have never cast, like, straight over my shoulder, per se, like, straight in the air. I would always cast, like, to the side and flick, like, flick a wrist, like you would a dodgeball, per se. You know what I mean? Like, I'd flick the fishing rod that way, and it would just send it out, you know? None of these two, three, four, five hundred meter casts like you see guys doing nowadays with their crazy friggin' line. But, uh, yeah. Oh, can I catch a different fish, please? Also, unfortunate thing about fishing line, apparently in, like, the dirt biking community, that stuff's a huge problem, like, going on paths. Well, not, like, a huge problem, but a problem enough where it's to be complained about because people are dying, you know, which is obviously a big problem in itself. Anyways, people going dirt biking on paths and stuff, and farmers or whatever, or, or whatever the case may be, you know, landowners will set up twine or fishing wire or, you know, whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, you drive through that at X amount of kilometers, miles per hour, and, you know, you're going to decapitate yourself or a limb or your pet's head or, you know, whatever the case may be. It's evil. It's a death trap, you know. And I, I think it's kind of messed up. You know, I understand you have the right to defend your property and stuff, you know, and it depends state by state, country by country and whatnot. But, like, that's crazy, man. You know, just setting up death traps like that. Like, I think some signage would do well, or maybe some, obviously, you know, fishing wire is a lot cheaper, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta think, life is priceless, man. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate life, and or don't realize that's value until it's too late. But as humans, unfortunately, it takes an extreme to understand something. Which is quite unfortunate, might I add. Here, fishy, fishy. Oh, yeah, this is great. See, I got Stardew in one ear and music in the other. Got some 21 pilots on the go here. Uh, can I catch tilapia, though? Like, is there something else? Like, I'm willing to go to half energy and then go to the river because I swear you can catch tilapia, which I think is like a dark gray or black fish. And then I know you can catch an eel here. I'm positive. Sunfish is a nice catch, too. That one needs rain. I think in my first ever playthrough, the uh, sunfish was the last fish I needed to complete the uh, Master Angler, I do believe. Oh, I need this treasure though. We gotta do the museum, bro. I need it. I'm sorry. 
Speaking of, that's going to be the hardest thing to complete is all, all the artifacts in 100 days. Oh, flounder shit. All right, three more casts, and we're moving on. We got to... I don't even know what time. I think the eel is a morning fish. Octopus is summer, right? So it's puffer fish. <laughs> Am I allowed to, like, sing in Twitch and not get copyrighted? Like, you know, you just hear my shitty voice. All right, one more cast, just because I'm running out of room here. Oh, shnikes! I missed it. That's all right. That's fine. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, clay? That's worth the stone. Yeah. Yeah. Clay is worth its weight in gold at the start, especially for building, like, the silos and whatnot, you know? Clay is super helpful. Oh, Sebastian. I'm so dark. I'm so emo. Shithead. <laughs> Not Sebastian's chill for real, though, but... Well, he's a, he's a chill guy, but, you know, you know how it goes. Wait, I could have sold a willy, right? And just instant sold, I'm pretty sure. That would have been great. That would have been a fantastic idea. I could have saved a lot of time actually doing that. Hey, there we go. What in the world? Okay. So I think we'll one, two. We have that, right? Is that also sardine? Yeah. One, two. We have a herring. Yeah, we'll keep it just like that. That should do. I don't have the wood for another chest, but I'm going to keep everything, you know, especially like as is on its own, you know? I just feel like that's probably the better option. Oh jeez, talk about the echo. Echo, echo, echo. Had my headphones on there. <laughs> Alright, so it's still raining. We went to the beach, caught what we could. We're gonna go to the mines, hopefully it's not a mistake. I feel like I should have hit the river first. Even though you know, I don't think there's gonna be anything too crazy of a difference there anyways. So like, who cares, honestly, in a way? But, you know, it's only day three, so, like, you know, getting the rain is pretty gnarly. That's awesome. Also, apparently the weather or whatever is set according to the amount of steps you take. So, like, speedrunners so like, do this, and it doesn't count as steps, which also looks weird, might I add. Almost looks like a weird Sims glitch or something. But anyways, it messes with the step counter, which there should really be a step counter. Kind of like how Harvest Moon has the Harvest Goddess, you know? Oh, here's these guys breaking down the rocks. Bro, give me an iron pickaxe. Let me tell you. I get that down in no time. Oh, look, sorry. Correction, correction. Give me a rune pickaxe. Mithril, adamant, iron, pff, copper. No good. Give me a rune pickaxe or a dragon pickaxe, brother. Oh, I'll get that down one day. Although, you know what? Maybe a couple days, given how long stuff takes in RuneScape. You know, I used to play RuneScape all the time, and I miss it, might I say. I used to, I started out with old school, and then, you know, it was years and years since I played. Oh, more geodes, cool, I'll take that. And uh, then I started playing, and it was RS3, and I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, newly updated graphics and whatnot. So I started playing RuneScape. And, uh, you know, I got an account worth over a billion, you know, mind you. I spent real life money on bonds and membership and everything. You know, I was working at Walmart at the time. Oh, I was pumping those paychecks into fast food and RuneScape. There wasn't much else to pump it into, to be honest, you know? Pretty funny to think about looking back on it. Thousands of dollars. My first semester at grade 10, I spent $800 at Wendy's. And no, I wasn't a fat piece. All right, I just had a great metabolism. Did it fail me later in life? Oh, yes, sir. But as long as you keep on top of things, you won't be super chunky, you know? But let me tell you, once I moved out on my own and stuff, I was working the security job, and then I would work four on, four off, 12-hour days, 7 to 7, you know? So like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. It was a decent security job, honestly. It was downtown in this big city. It wasn't bad. 
And uh, you used to be able to put in this code called UNI, UNI, uh, for like university when you ordered pizza from Domino's. You could get an extra large cheese pizza for like 12 bucks. You know how awesome that is? That's friggin' sick, man. That is a nice discount. Oh yeah, I got you fishy. So anyways, we would do that. And it was great. You know? You have some drinks. I worked at a liquor store for some time. Um, it was called the Liquor Depot. And it was great. Unfortunately, at the time, Liquor Depot was shutting down. Like, sh just shortly after I got hired. Like, head office knew of this, right? So unfortunately, all the higher-up businessmen that have all the money in the world anyways showed up to buy all the expensive scotches and all that that were on for discount. Because, oh, wow, I have first words, so I have first dibs. Which, yeah, I'm sure we'd all abuse in a way. But fuck you at the same time for doing it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're going to travel from Ontario from here just to save money on alcohol? Like, what do you need? Three bottles for each yacht? You know, it's kind of crazy. But hey, if they can afford it, who am I to say it's not my problem? You know, I'm not cool enough. But anyways, that day, I spent $100. And I kid you not, I got like 20 plus bottles of liquor. Like two sixes, 750 milliliters. 20 plus bottles. Easy. For like 105 bucks. And we're talking like gin, tequila, vodka, whiskey. I had the most delicious vodka whiskey I ever tasted in my life for $5 for that 2.6. I should have grabbed 10 more. Absolute vodka, typical popular brand. $5 a 2.6, 750 mils of that for $5 Canadian. Absolute steal of a price. All because it was going at a sale. The amount of baskets I filled that day, my god. I got on my break that day and I messaged my roommate. I was like, bro, like we gotta we gotta hit this big time. So we did. Oh, I don't think I could reach that. Yeah, the liquor store was real close to home at the time and I was like, oh man, like we gotta get this. See, I literally went there on my, like I was working, right? Went home on my break, grabbed uh, money from my roommate cause I was <laughs> half broke too. We spent like 52 bucks each or whatever. Oh, I gotta catch this fish. This fish is being a pain in the tuchus. And then, yeah, anyways, we ended up getting a schnike ton of liquor. A ton. Multiple, multiple nights of drinking out of it for a hundred bucks. Like, we're talking a ton of nights out of this. And seriously, anything maple whiskey-wise, oh my god, I love it. It was delicious. It was the best alcoholic beverage I've ever had in my life. That and some Coca-Cola. Like, absolutely bananas. Like, next world. I just wish I seen the company that made it, because damn, it was good. It was so good. Like, oh my goodness. Absolutely bananas. If I could get another bottle, oh, I happily would not have dealt my frick. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. We go home, dump this off. Oh, Sebastian, the email's going back home. I would fish in the river, but kind of running out of time for the night, and I really got a rock piss. I'm drinking some beers here while I'm gaming, and it's great. Also hitting the Benjamin, by the way. If you are hitting the Benjamin, take some take some pulls. Why not? You know, might as well. Might as well join the party. Nothing better than playing Stardew while you're blitzed out of your absolute mind. Like, such a good time, you know? Again. <coughs> Keep one of each fish. Oh, not that one. That one, that one. Sell the rest. Because the rest might go to the museum. But yeah, I gotta take a bathroom break big time. So I'm gonna sell those. Rest in bed. Uh, turn this on. And I will be right back.
Alright, brother. Yeah. Back to being in Stardew Valley before the 1.4 update, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go, brother. Here we go, here we go. Here's what we gotta do. Use a fancy word. Is Blitz spelt with an S? I feel like it's a Z. Stardew Valley. You know what? Instead of Blitz, I think I'm just going to put Crossfaded, you know? Because, like, I'm drinking and I'm pulling on the Benjamin, you know? Getting a little sloppy. Little sloppy floppy, probably like my Dinkarino later. You know, you know, you know. Seven hundred bucks, so that's pretty decent, brother. That's pretty good. Yeah. Seven hundred bucks. Wow. Heck yeah. Oh, schnikes. I need my watering can, my. I need the watering can. Gotta grow my beans to have my beans on toast. <laughs> Not real talk. Ah, uh, I was about to say beans on toast is some good stuff. Not gonna lie. What are the crops, Richie? Eh? I'll do it, Father. Don't send me out to the wolves tonight, Father. Let's chop down this wood here. You know, we don't need to be popping old Viagra in the Stardew Valley. Penny does all the work for us. Pause. In game. Just kidding, real talk, it's Leah or Abigail though. You know, whoever got that. Who got the Maru taste from uh, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town, huh? That's what I want to know. Hey ya, chop it down, Charlie Brown, you. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of the Snoopy dance. I love it when Peter makes Brian do it in Family Guy, too. It's funny as frig. Alright, brother. I'm just trying to get the wood for, like, some solid chests right now, you know? That and we're on the standard farm, so, like... Gotta clear it up, man, you know? Gotta clear it right up. And I think so long as we just attack it, like, every day for a good couple days, you know, it should be over in no time. And it'll boost our foraging and or mining up before we actually get there. Like, as example, the mines aren't even open until tomorrow, I believe. So I'm doing this, well, I guess right now we're doing more foraging type stuff, you know, lumberjack type stuff, but... For every rock we break, we get mining XP as well, so... Kinda works out nicely, and it's also needed for, like, majority of crafting recipes, so good to have an abundance of. Right when you start, I absolutely recommend just clearing your farm. Nothing else, just clear it. If you want to go foraging, fine, but just focus on those parsnips and gathering all that wood, man. Oh, seven more. One, two... Three. Oh, I can't risk it for the biscuit, unfortunately. One more chest, though, brother. And here's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna make that the blue chest. So this is gonna be for our fish. So we'll deposit all this. Fish, 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 fish. Fish. Fish, 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 fish. See, look at that. Eight different fishes caught it in one day. Our energy is depleted. We can't do nothing anyways. Friday, first day with the traveling merchant. So we're going to see what she has. Hopefully it's something absolutely banging. But if it's not, then hey, what can you do, you know? You can only get for what you ask for. Oh no, my goodness. I got a bit of a technological issue here, brother. I'm having a bit of an issue. There we go. Yes, sir. Let's go see what this traveling merchant has. Oh, Marnie! Yes, I see that putty tat. Meow! 
Heck yeah. And we're gonna name it 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 10. Zisa. 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 Whatever it is, I love it. The shortness, the abruptness, and the ability to be called. Alright, brother. Alright, brother. Yeah, check that mail. Got Gwen Stefani banging in the eardrums. Real talk. If you don't like this, uh, what, 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 what is this song actually called? Holla Back Girl, the Dish is Banana song? If you don't like that. Sorry, we can't be friends. Because you know that's an early 2000s banger. And if you never heard of it, even worse, get away from me, thanks. If you were born in like... We're in 2024. People born in 2006 or 18. That's fucking gross. Uh, let's say 20... Let's say the year 2000 and... You know, let's go with 2000 onwards. Anything below that? Uh, you're so young. You know? I still feel young myself. It's so weird growing up at a high school because you don't really feel any different, you know? <clears throat> you know, we all assume like you're supposed to feel so grown up and different and you got your life together and a house and a family and a girlfriend and wife, you know, job, whatever, trade. No. Your 20s are an absolute joke. Sure, you got the people that commit to a miserable job, example, where I am working. Working on the service rigs. Yeah, I've worked them 12 hours a day, 20 plus days straight. No life, making a ton of money. Absolutely. Three grand bi weekly is beautiful. But trading that to have no life when we're here for such a limited time? No, thank you. You know, why should we bother doing that? Exposing ourselves, killing ourselves for money? What's the point? Sure, yeah, you get some nice stuff, but I'd rather extend my longevity, you know? It was great. But, having that said, like, you know, I'm living the life right now, you know? I'm not exposed to any nonsense, taking life easy, you know, working your average job. You know, you just gotta live life to what it is, because honestly, regardless of what you do, in three, four generations, maybe five, six, you're forgotten about. You're gone. There's, there's no you anymore. Nothing you did, unless it was so substantial, it changed your family's wealth, or status, or, you know, you won the lottery, whatever. Think about it, it's you, your son, grandson, great-grand, great-great, and then what, are you even alive for the next generation? Probably not. It's depressing, you know? You only get so much time. Use it for what you got. Don't care about what others think, go to the gym. Think about it, you're piloting a meat mac. Basically, you are piloting a chunk of flesh, and you determine its condition all the time, mentally, physically, spiritually. It's up to you to be strong. Nobody else. Become a ripped machine. Become a real-life dreadnought from Warhammer. Why not? You know? We all lack motivation and commitment. That's the problem. We probably won't all admit to it, but that's it. It's hard to admit long term. Commit long term. My bad. Jump in a lake. Oh, I want to pick up stuff. Can you use our some? Oh, all right, all right. We're gonna chop this tree down. I forgot. I gotta check the traveling merchant. Totally forgot. Okay, that was great. That was a great harvest right there. Let's get these resources in. Oh wow, 10 energy already? That's brutal. I really hope there's not a bunch of rocks in front of the way, because I do not... Please, for the love of God. Shnikes. It's like a maze, you know, trying to make my way through. It's kind of funny, honestly. Oh! There was a clear path. Heck yeah, brother. We're good. Heck yeah. 
Hey, not even bad. Come on, meow. Hey, I got stuck on a friggin' tray! Oh yeah, give them to me. Might as well. The fiber, that's free. Scarecrows, brother. Already. Oink, 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 oink. Pufferfish is tempting, but the rest is pretty mid. What a waste of time! Bow, bow. Honestly, might just go to money route. Like, why bother trying to harvest and complete the community center? But at the same time, it is pretty. <laughs> now, here's the hard part, right? What's what? What? What is the path you took to get here? Okay, there we go. We're getting there, though. We're clearing this farm bit by bit. We're getting there day by day. Oh wow, thirty something fiber. Wow, wow, wow. I have enough fiber for like six scarecrows. That's awesome. I also think today onwards, we're able to go towards the cats in the space, towards the town and unlock the community center. I also chose the remix bundles just cause I was like, you know what? That's more of a challenge, you know, instead of the usual nonsense, like, you know, might as well. Saturdays, whatever. Saturdays are mid. Hey! Don't water the random dirt, you stupid. So here's what I'm thinking. We do this in 10 day episodes, right? So we're on day 6. Do it in 10 days, 10 parts. See what we all accomplish, you know? Right now, we're just chopping down wood, clearing the farm, doing our thing, building our skills, putting them up, which is fantastic, by the way, might I add. And slowly gaining cash, which is... Oh, kitty, you're thirsty. Meow. Meow. I want a furry friend myself. I'd like to have a little doggo. Like, if I had a little boxer or a pity, Roddy, you know, St. Bernard chilling on my lap right now, you know? Something that's like family friendly, you know, regardless of its energy level, you know, it'd be great. It's like a kid, you know, if you don't burn it out, it won't be tired, you know. Oh, yeah, give me all them resources. That's what I'm after, right there. All them resources, yes, sir. I would like to drop off the fishing rod today and the watering can and the hoe. I need the pickaxe, though. Oh, kitty. Meow. Also. If you come across sisters, don't go for one and then think one's hotter and go after the other. That's a bad decision. It won't end well. Sounds like some loud bangs. I hope it's nothing to be concerned about. Hey, there we go. Hey, ya! Uh, break all these resources wide open. Heck yeah. All these mixed seeds are great. I'm gonna save them for summer. <sighs> Maybe mid spring, actually. That way we get a bunch of money for summer, you know? Might be a little better, actually. Get all these out of the way, level up the mining maybe, you know, one or two times before we actually hit the mines, which would be really good, honestly, really beneficial. Improves the efficiency. Might as well save ourselves the hassle. Also, right off the hop, if you are going to go community center or you want to make money, save all the seeds you pick up, regardless of what they are, because then you can plant them for the sap and whatnot, or like the oak resin or whatever, you know? And then you're good to go. Oh. Okay, well that's fine. Hey, farm is clear so far. We're gonna keep it up. Every day we're gonna keep it up till day 10. Just burn all energy, clear this farm aside Sundays and whatnot to check the traveling merchant. 
Because if we can get some sprinklers off the hop, that would be beautiful. All right. So I think ready to start it tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead down and clear that little Caloria rocks. Then we'll go ahead and focus on those trees because man, there's so many on the standard farm, my God. Also the amount of resources we're gaining just from clearing the farm is insane, which just goes to show like for, this, for the first couple days, like spend that time investing into the farm. It's well worth it, definitely well worth it. For Sunday, Queen of Sauce, check it. Stir fry. I think the second one is omelets or something like that. But it is also the same day that the Chawi Merchant is here. Don't chop your plants down. All oh, potatoes are ready. All right. We're gonna go and refill. Absolutely. Oh, pour some on the ground, I guess. You know, just because we got some extra. One, two, three, four, five. We'll keep one. Just depends on what the community center has. You know, like, as time goes on, like, it, it, it kind of depends on how much money we have. Because it's, uh, but also being able to get everything is kind of a pain that took us, you know? Versus getting everything done is just kind of like a fixed cost, like a hundred and, what, 50k or something like that, give or take? Alright, let's hack apart this quarry here. Heck yeah, brother, clear up all these rocks. Which also means probably like level one or two mining, but at the same time also gives us the amount of coal we're gonna need for upgrading as we go to the mines, which is great. I'm gonna clear this stuff though, because the Chawi Merchant's there until five, so it's not like she's in a rush or anything, you know? There we go, some good clearing right there. Get all this stuff out of the way, you know? It's kind of crazy how much like nonsense they just put right in the way. Or maybe I shouldn't say they. More of he, Mr. Eric Baroni. Hiya! I keep talking for so long and forgetting to breathe. It's a big whoopsie! I find it happens whenever I'm drinking or like hitting the penjamin, you know, I find I forget to like basic human needs, you know, it's unfortunate. <laughs> kind of funny though, but hey, that's okay, what can you do? Also, prime resource gain right there, 46 something rocks, that's great. <sighs> Beats by, you know. Battery packs, tempting, not gonna lie. The why though, ooh. The wool, oh, that's a pretty decent day. Iron ore freight hunter is crazy though, what the fuck? Whoever's buying that is crazy, there's no way, no reason. Also, Sunday is reset day, like all the forgeables and whatnot. We're gonna go ahead and clear the farm straight to Friday. Or however long it takes, whatever the case may be. Because having this clear makes life so much easier. Especially once you have the 10 clay and the 5 copper bars where you're able to build silos. Pretty awesome. I'm going to sell the dandelion actually. Get rid of that. Do still have a good bit of energy. We'll focus on getting some more wood for building supplies in the future. And then tomorrow we'll go back to cracking the rocks and all this nonsense that surrounds us. Right off the hop, like it is smart in a way to just start clearing the farm, making space. Ultimately, it's just for upping skills and gaining resources though, like... I think ultimately you might make more money in the mines, you know? Selling all the random gems you get and whatnot at the first pit, and you'll still get some supplies and stones and stuff. Especially given the first year is cheaper than the rest. Like, right at the end of the year, first year, prices go up, and it goes up a significant amount. For buying like stone and wood and whatnot, so your first year, the most construction you can do, the better because your supplies just skyrocket immediately. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and exploit all the energy we have. Heck yeah, brother. Oh, perfect. And we also have a good handful of these, what are these, acorns, I believe, which give us the oak resin. Seven of them. 
it's almost wise to go and plant them on the trail or the train station area, which I mean isn't open right now. Or I guess more or less like, hey, level one, level two, I'll take that. <sighs> Not bad. Time to clear the farm some more, brother. See what's up. Monday, no clean of sauce or nothing like that. Don't know what the luck is today, but that's okay. We're not interested. Right now, we're going to focus on the beans, making money. We'll check the mail, and then we're going to go back to clearing the farm because not much else really matters at the start. I also believe uh, in the in the notes of things, if you choose a male character, you get cookies in the mail. But if you choose female, you get 500 gold, which is interesting. You know, such a change. Oh, I was like, what's moving in the grass? I didn't notice Kitty was in there. But yeah, clearing the farm, getting all these resources while also upping your skills in the start is super important, might I add. Because it improves your proficiency with tools and whatnot, so when you use them, you use less energy, which in turn saves you, especially at the start where you don't have any of the power berries, or sorry, star drops. Power berries are Harvest Moon. I grew up playing Harvest Moon Friends in Mineral Town. And my goodness, is that a fantastic game. Same thing, you know, animals, farming, you know, and even Eric Brony himself, based part of Sort of Valley off of, you know, Animal Crossing, uh, Harvest Moon, you know, other things like that. I don't remember what else, but a lot of cool stuff, which is great. Like, I would love to create my own farming game, but I don't even know how. How do you create the images, the pictures, the... How do you even start, you know? It'd be worth going to school to, not just for a hobby, but for a career, you know? Pretty cool. Pretty neat that people are able to do it. Me, myself, you know, I'm not much a commuter nerd or anything like that, but pretty cool to be able to do, I must say. If you were someone who could, I cannot. But like, oh, I would love to create a farming game. But there's so many, you know, like you got Disney Dreamlight Valley and you got Coral Island, Stardew, Harvest Moon on top of the multiple others. You know, there's just so much, like it's so hard to stand out and be unique nowadays, you know? But they all have their own unique tastes, like, even my time at Porsche is so different in its own way, you know? But so lengthy, too. And even Dreamlight Valley, the achievements are ridiculous, like clearing all those darkness spaces, or having 30 people move into the valley. Like, it requires a lot of work and grinding, you know? Which is nice for a farming game in a way, you know? It extends the longevity, you can't just shortline it. One more. Oh, beautiful. Fun fact, the scythe and the sword do not use energy, which is fantastic. Oh my goodness, all these supplies is great. Check this out. This is fantastic, oh my goodness. Hey, I'll take that. Tuesday, also nothing worth watching on the TV. Water the crops once again. We'll go ahead and clear some stuff. I'm not going to worry about going foraging until Friday anyways, because it seems that Fridays and Sundays are kind of like the refresh days. I'm not sure how true that is, but that's just kind of what the case seems to be. So if we spend this initial time harvesting all these resources, buffing the skills, our life just gets easier as time goes on. You know, like spring is all about just upping everything, getting ready, saving money. Because once you get those blueberries, ooh, life is easy. Sure, you've got a lot of monotonous watering ahead, not gonna lie. But there is so much you're able to do, so much. <sighs> oh yeah, harvest all that. Chop all these trees down, heck yeah, brother. Now see... It's such a toss-up, because like, I could spend all this time foraging too, you know? But right now, I just kind of want to focus on the skills, because they take so much time. Like, we're going to have to do all this regardless, right? But also, hardwood, like chopping those down, is what? I think they're 25 XP, versus a tree is only so much XP or something like that. I don't remember. Whatever the case is, we chose the standard farm, so at least we have a lot of supplies to gather. Which, I mean, is kind of a pain, but also a blessing in disguise at the same time. Because we don't have to go and work for it, you know? It just kind of makes life easier. Especially for cultivate. Oh, oh, here we go. Cultivating parsnips. Oh, building scarecrows. So many things. You just don't need to worry about it anymore. 
Oh yeah, like day 10, we're already getting there. Like half the farm's just about clear. We're getting there already. It goes by quick, you know? Gather them supplies. Heck yeah, brother. You know, there's really not that much left to gather, which is kind of nice. Like, honestly, it's not that bad. It's just going to be a lot of tree chopping. A lot. Kind of nice. Mining level 2, I think, easily for sure, based on how many rocks there is around. Like, oh, this is fantastic before we even hit the mines. Just having the proficiency is going to make life a lot easier. And also for crafting purposes, like, oh, that is beautiful for building the barn and the chicken coop. Like, that is fantastic. First real six string. Fantastic song, by the way. Early 2000s jam, so love them. See, look at that. We're on day nine, and we got all these resources. Like, oh, we're doing great. Solid progress. We're going into Wednesday, which Wednesdays are like Queen of Sauce reruns. Like, if you did miss the Sunday, or like, like a recipe you did miss, I do believe, will show up. You're like, I think if I rerun it? Yeah. Some stir fry we already know how to make, brother. Heck yeah. Oh no, I already wasted two. I'm gonna run out now, you watch. Oh, wasted three. Time for one. Oh, nice, we had just enough. That's crazy. I thought I was gonna run out. No doubt in my mind. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Wednesday as well. Might as well get to clearing. Also, if you don't play real zoomed out, you really should. It's super beneficial because you can always see what's going on, you know? Clear the farm, see what's up, you know, might as well. Yeah, yeah. And you're better off using the scythe energy, because, like I said, you know, it doesn't- or sorry, using the scythe, because it doesn't use energy, correction. But there's so many around, my goodness. The amount of fiber you can get at the start on this farm is crazy. Absolutely bananas. Yeah. 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 Oh, shnikes. Waste energy. Oh my goodness. Like three hits. Crazy. Drop all that up. Hiya. Um, this one, this one. Hiya, hiya. Oh, snakes. Oh, only so much left now, my goodness. Which is great, because then I can just go and mass chop the trees down, and then we're good to go, you know? That's great. Get the clear all good- sorry, get the farm all cleared and good to go. And to be able to continue, you know? I was debating on doing this in 10, 10, 10 parts, you know? Like days 1 to 10, 10 to 20. But I might do days 1 to 15, just because I got the time for it, you know? I might, I might just do it. We're gonna see. Heck yeah, especially with the way the proficiency is going, like, I might be able to have this this farm cleared by then and then start tackling the real objectives, you know? Making some cash, seeing how far I can get. I've never attempted to see how far I can get in 100 days before, so I'm kind of curious, you know? This is just kind of a test run, see what we can accomplish. See what we can get done, you know, and then convert from there. Oh yeah, mad stones. No way we don't get some sort of foraging for this or something. Like, no way. Heck yeah, chop it down, chop it down. Ayar. 
Heck yeah, brother. One more. <sighs> Dang, we got a rank amount of supplies. This is awesome. Like a ridiculous amount. Absolute ridiculous amount. Heck yeah. Hold me. <laughs> Great sound. Okay, I'll be right back. I just gotta use the bathroom and grab a beer. Just one sec. Okay, we're back. We're good to go. Yes, sir. One fame, are you in the game? Yes, sir. Real Talk of Game by Lady Gaga. Fantastic song, if you haven't heard it, by the way. I think I'm gonna go to day 15 and just get the farm cleared, you know? I know you might be going, oh, why are you spending your time doing that? Well, the truth is... It's better to get it done than have to pay for it, like, raw material-wise. Just so much money, you know? Like, why bother? I'd rather just do it all myself. Ugh, oh, I got stuck. I'm trying to open a beer. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's Pilsner beer. Disgusting as I remember, brother. Yeah. So now we're just going to chop all this down. We'll probably have... What, a stack and something of wood, probably, give or take? Which will be enough for a house upgrade, the first coop, the barn. And if we have, like, half a stack as well, which we probably will if I had to guess. Because it's great, we're clearing all this up. It'll be usable space. Which is nice, until the season resets, then we'll get a couple spawns of nonsense and whatnot, you know. But for now, this is just straight XP for leveling up our stats and getting all our supplies. Then we just need raw cash, which once we start hitting the mines, again, duplicates of artifacts and whatnot, we're going to grind the mines hardcore, and on rainy days, I'm fishing, you know? Making sure we don't miss anything, get all the fish, and then on top of that, whatever extra fish we have, I'm just going to sell it so we have extra money, you know? Why not? Might as well. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother with your note there, Grandpa. I'm not interested. I want nothing to do with that. Bop! Bop, bop, chop it down, Charlie Brown. Heck yeah. 
I feel like I've chopped down like four trees and my energy is already depleted. But you know what? Over the course of five days, draining the energy, chopping down all these trees, getting rid of all these resources, we'll get this farm clear in no time. And that's kind of what the start of Stardew is, you know, just kind of clearing things, getting yourself resources prepared and all that fun, stupid stuff, you know. It's kind of crazy that it takes like 10 hits to down a tree, not gonna lie, pretty crazy. I think that's a little ridiculous, but hey, you know what, who am I to say? Stardew's a masterpiece, what can you do, right? Here we go. Four, five, yeah! Oh my goodness. Oh, I was expecting to get exhausted there, oh my goodness, that's crazy. We haven't even really had to leave the farm yet, and we have a crazy amount of resources. Look at that. 200, 800, 20 coal, geodes, sap, which sap is great, especially for the mines early levels. Once you get into like level 30, it gets real dark. So if you have a bunch of uh, torches, hey, there we go, level one farming, fantastic. Now we can have the scarecrows, which means uh, we can complete that challenge, right? There's that challenge to like construct a scarecrow or whatever, or do we not have it yet? Uh, cultivate a parsnip's the first thing. I sold all mines, so I guess we're not completing that right now, but that's fine. Oh, tomorrow's the flower dance. That means we need that rare crow, eh? I think it's what? A couple grand or something like that? <sighs> well, we're gonna see what we can do, brother. That's alright. First attempt, we're gonna see how close we can get to 100. It's alright if it's not perfect. Heck yeah, brother. Yeah, right now, you know, I'm just chilling, having a couple of drinkity doodles. You know, I got the Benjamin. Just having an easy night at home, you know. I made a delicious chicken fried rice, you know. Got some peas, peppers, broccoli, celery, carrots, and that. I would have liked corn as well. Or even some like corn on the cob in the side as well. Corn on the cob, sorry. Would have been fantastic, but hey, what can you do, you know? You can't have it all. Unless you catch it all, you know, like Pokemon if you're hunting STDs, but, you know, each for their own. I wonder what the villagers think of this. This new farmer moved in, but I mean, at the same time, like, you know, sure, he doesn't show his face very much, but he's busy clearing the land, you know? What are these Stardew Stardew, or sorry, what are these other Stardew people doing? Not much. You know, and what if, like, simulations are real to, like, get deep real quick? Like, you know, I'm in this save file, right? And all these people are moving around, living their life, regardless of the time. While I'm doing my thing off the farm, you know, going to their set destinations at set times and whatnot. Like, what if that's their life, you know? Like, our life nowadays is not too far off. Like, we got AI and stuff. We have the gender collapse, you know, societal collapse going on. Gender, uh... Dysmorphia or whatever on a mass scale is like a sign of uh, societal collapse. I don't remember where that's from. That's just what they say. Don't quote me on it. I'm not judging. Whatever you are, it's fine. I don't care. That's fine by me. But yeah, the world's crazy right now. You know, North Korea's troops are in Russia. It's only a matter of time until we start seeing North Korean troops on Gora websites, which is pretty crazy, not gonna lie. But, uh, you know, given they're starved anyway, it probably sends the 10 well-fed troops and the 11,900 others that are not going to do well. Kind of curious to see where that goes, but hey, each for their own. Oh my goodness, this farm, speaking of, has so much grass. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Give me it back. Oh, it's a Friday. Okay, 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 okay. We got 1,800 though. We gotta go to the travel merchant. We don't want to miss it. We gotta. S oh my god, that is so much grass. Oh my goodness, we have like five different patches. We could probably fill a silo. I believe a silo has like 250 grass, something like that. And then two of them is 500 or 400 or whatever, you know. <sighs> Whether it's 200 or 250, what do you have? Ah, oh, garbage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought that said ancient seeds. I was going to say that'd be dope. Because ancient seeds grow all spring, all summer, all fall. They, they are every single season. And if you can get them in a seed maker and throw them in your greenhouse, you can make some fat cash. Real talk. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 
well, I guess that's all we can do today. We're literally out of energy. There's nothing worth spending the money on right now. We have all these supplies. We fished on the rainy day. We're going into the 13th. And birthdays aren't worth... Uh, well, like, they kind of are, you know, but like... Ooh, tappers. That's nice. I'll take that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I ordered the same one twice. I love it. Here you go, brother. Right, well, let's get rid of these trees on the side just to free up the side part here. I don't want to have to worry about it, you know? It's just like an eyesore, you know? I know that the whole other side is an eyesore too, but I'm working on it. Grandpa wasn't doing schnikes in his last couple of years. Understandably, was he seen an island old? Probably, but Grandpa wasn't taking care of nothing. He didn't even decide to hire the local landscaper boy or, you know, the local, you know, farm kid or something. Like, <laughs> come on now. This is awesome, though. Like, we have all the wood to make so many chests and scarecrows and, you know, whatever the case may be, coops, barns, all that fun stuff. Which is great because. A lot of the times you have to buy it because you run out and you're like, oh man, you know, and then you gotta pay for it and it's a couple, 10, 15, you know, 20 grand, which isn't much later on, but at the start, oh. It's almost better to just, in, you know, put the, put the energy towards it, that way you don't have to worry about it, you know? Might as well. Come on, man. Chop, 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 chop. Heck yeah chop these woods down. I know it's kind of lame that the first episode's like, oh yeah, let's chop some wood and build a farm and fucking get all fired up and shit. But hey, what can you do, right? I might be able to do days 15 to 30 as well. Might be able to. Kind of depends, you know? I'm hoping to do like 100 days to start. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. Game, absolute banger. Oh my goodness. Just Dance, Poker Face, you know, uh, you know, Judas, so many bangers by Lady Gaga, real talk. You can't deny it. Ugh. You can't deny it. She creates some bangers, or her writer, or whoever it is, is on fire, brother. Oh. I thought I was gonna get exhausted, oh my goodness. Oh, look at that, already a stack. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Tomorrow's a Sunday too. We'll keep clear and we'll check the travel and merchant. Oh, beautiful. Gonna be... Uh, oh my goodness, yeah. Absolute banger. And don't forget, it's Sunday. Gotta check the Queen of Souls. Cole Soul. I guess if I'm trying to 100, I might as well keep like one of each crop, right? I know it's like church day or whatever. Use my energy. Oh, cat! Meow, 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 meow. Oh, you father mucker. This one. Meow, 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 meow. Heck yeah. Get rid of those. Don't want those. I don't want no seeds. No seed planting in my territory, brother. Wow, that corner needs some major clearing too. Oh my god. Like, yeah, it's nice, but it's obnoxious, man. <laughs> Trying to clear the normal farm is a pain in the tuchus. I should have chose the river, the... <sighs> oh. Rainbow trout, eh? Wood skip. Oh, but the wood... That's cheap. Honestly, it's kind of smart to save the money and use it for like house and personal upgrades compared to spending it on the community center, you know? Just because the wood skip is, you know, 
you gotta have the farm unlocked on positive to get to that, right? Or sorry, the, the woods. My bad. Let's get rid of all of this nonsense, and then tomorrow we'll come through and just pickaxe it all. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. All that fiber, one, to help us build scarecrows, and two, to help us poop, you know? You gotta have fiber. What is fiber? Is it just, like, plants? Is that fiber? Uh, you know, I personally don't really know what fiber is. What's the definition of fiber, anyway? You know what, I'm gonna drop all this off, and then I'm gonna go chop wood and just chop, 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 chop. Because we hit the merchant, we got the recipe for today. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh hey, give me that horseradish, bruh. And I'm still kinda torn, like, that's why I bought the wood skip. Like, I don't know if I wanna do community center and like get the benefits you know because like you get a couple extra devices you know crystallarium a couple things like that you know nothing crazy but stuff that helps you know it's kind of a toss-up but now that we have that done it's time to clear some more because we already got a stack of wood and the more wood and stone we have the better like oh yeah blah 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 Shootings? Oh. You ever heard the song Airplanes by B.O.B. and Haley Williams? I didn't have to check that, surely. <laughs> but anyways, back in the day, oh my god, I'm old. I remember it was on the Much Music channel, you know? When the OG MW2 came out, Kesha was popular, you know, Katy Perry, like, oh my goodness. It's so crazy. You know, nowadays, being 27, looking back on things. Like, you don't feel your age when you grow up. You're just you. You just age, you know, physically. You look at the man in the mirror and he changes. But internally, you don't feel so different other than more mature or grown from the experiences you've had. You know, it's pretty crazy. Like, honestly, it's... <laughs> it's nuts. It's absolutely insane, aging. Absolutely insane. I wonder if other animals have a concept of it and we just don't know it, you know? Like, we just assume all animals, you know, natural construct, instinct, whatever. And that's just kind of that for them, right? But wrong. Like, what if they're just as sentient as we are, you know, we just don't realize it because we're stupid. Frick. I hope those don't overtake the crops. They won't destroy them, right? I gotta know. I'm keeping them away, just in case. I don't want to lose my crops, just in case. I'll do the day 15, I'm thinking. So I'll do, like, the whole day, right? Day 15 of spring! Speaking of spring, I want to, like, make my own garden, you know? Like, onions, peppers, peas, potatoes, you know, green onion, whatever the case may be, you know? I would love it, you know? Why aren't we self-sufficient with gardens everywhere, you know? Like, what's so wrong other than us saving money? Am I crazy? Oh, it's the back ones. Okay, okay. I was like, <laughs> are they not getting watered? Also, today I can't really do much because it's uh, the, the, the... Oh, did I already miss that? The Harvest Festival or whatever? That's fine. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to focus on still clearing the land. Still clearing the land. You know, making sure the Stardew Valley is safe of trees, rocks, and branches. That way, once those kids come around for... Oh no, is that Harvest Moon too? Where they come around for the candy day and they want the, like the chocolate and stuff, you know? Harvest Moon was so underrated. It kind of sucks that it's like rinse and repeat, though. Like, you know, go and harvest all the grasses and the bamboo shoots. Go to the mines. 
you know, build your relationships. But back in the day, you used to be able to sit in front of an NPC and give her like 300 bottles of wine, which if you know who I'm talking about, Karen, if she didn't come to mind right away, then you know, there's something wrong with you. But yeah, you used to be able to just sit there and gift, 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 gift. And there was rival heart events like Rick and Karen and uh, who was a Kai and Poppery and I don't remember who Anne's rival was. Cliff, maybe? I don't remember. Point is, things were so different. Like, you could be trying to marry a person and you could stumble upon their heart events. And you had to do all the heart events to marry them. But if you stumbled upon the rival heart events, then you were in trouble, you know? Because then you had to compete, basically. And if you ran across too many of them, they'd get married to that person and you were SOL. You know, you basically got your girl stolen, so... <laughs> You know, kind of crazy how times have changed, not gonna lie. Pretty crazy. And they came out with Story of Seasons, you know, and it's different now. It's not just, you know, plain and simple. A little more to it, but you still need to do the 50 years of marriage in order to get the vacation house or whatever. It's bananas! They're like, no. We, w we won't lower the amount of years or anything, because people will still play it, which unfortunately we do, which is ridiculous, might I add. Absolutely ridiculous. That's days 1 through 15 for Stardew Days of 100, just spent raw harvesting material. Get out of the way! Not bad, honestly. Like, we have a lot of materials. 1,200 wood, 400 fiber, 300. <sighs> That's not bad, honestly. That's pretty decent. Not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and sleep in the day 16 and continue the stream into the next one. Wow. No upgrades. Wow, that's crazy.